EcuroFlow XT600 Undersink Tankless Reverse Osmosis System. Hello and welcome to the installation instruction video for the PuroFlow XT600 Undersink Tankless Reverse Osmosis System. Step 1. Unbox and check the accessories kits. First, let's start by opening the box and checking the contents. Step 2. Installation tools you may need. Step 2. 1. Determine the under sink compression water inlet size. Now to start the installation process, first determine the feed water valve inlet size under your sink. Typically, it will either be a half-inch FIP or 3-8-inch compression inlet valve. If you have a half-inch FIP outlet valve, please use the two converters supplied in the accessory box. Half-inch to 3-8-inch compression and 3-8-inch compression to half-inch FIP to feed the water adapter. If you have a 3-8-inch outlet valve, you don't need to use the adapter. If your feed water valve is any other size, you will need to purchase the adapter separately at your local hardware store. Step 3. Install the Smart RO Faucet. Next, find or drill a 1-inch hole in the countertop or in the sink for the faucet installation. The hole is usually 0.5 inches near the edge of the sink so the RO faucet can reach the inside and outside of the sink when it's rotated. Make sure there is a power source nearby. Turn off the cold water in the valve and turn on the faucet until the water stops flowing. Insert the RO faucet and power cord into the hole. Install the faucet components one by one using an adjustable wrench to tighten. Find the white pure water tubing and insert it into the quick connector. Connect the lock-in clip between the fitting and the tubing collet to secure. Connect the faucet stem to the white pure water tubing and use another lock-in clip to secure the fitting. Check that the connection is properly secured by pulling on the tube making sure nothing is loose and that the tube cannot be pulled out. Step 4. Install the feed water adapter. Turn off the cold water inlet valve. Turn on the faucet until the water stops flowing. Place a towel under the cold feed water valve to catch any dripping water. Use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the faucet hose from the water inlet valve. If it is a 3-8 inch compression outlet valve, please make sure the O-ring is in position to prevent any leaks. Connect the feed water adapter to the cold water inlet valve, making sure the washer is in place. Connect the original faucet hose to the feed water adapter. Use the adjustable wrench to tighten. If your system has a half-inch FIP outlet valve, please use the two converters supplied in the accessories box. Half-inch to 3-8-inch compression and 3-8-inch compression to half-inch FIP to feed the water adapter. Please make sure the O-ring is in position to prevent leaks. Connect the half-inch FIP inlet valve to the 3-8 inch compression adapter. Use an adjustable wrench to tighten. Connect the feed water adapter to the half inch FIP to 3-8 inch compression. Use an adjustable wrench to tighten. Connect the 3-8 inch compression to half inch FIP to feed the water adapter. Use an adjustable wrench to tighten. 
connect the original faucet hose to the feed water adapter. Step 5. Install the drain saddle. Find a spot on the drain pipe to install the drain saddle, preferably on the vertical portion of the drain pipe. Mark and drill a fourth inch hole, making sure you do not drill through to the other side of the pipe. Stick the foam cushion on the front plate, paying attention to the location of the hole. Insert the red waste water tubing about half an inch into the drain saddle. Insert the tubing into the drilled hole. Secure the front plate to the back plate by tightening the screws on the both sides while leaving the tubing in the hole. Pop the lock-in clip onto the fitting to secure the connection. Connect tubing to the ports on the system. Remove the dust cover from the ports. Match the color coordinated ports with their corresponding tube colors i.e. white with white, blue with blue, etc. Making sure to firmly insert the tubes each time. Going back to the RO faucet that was installed earlier, take the loose end of the white tubing and insert that into the white pure water port on the system. Use a lock-in clip to secure the fitting to prevent water leaks. Next, take the blue tubing which was attached to the feed water adapter. Insert the loose end of the tubing into the blue inlet water port on the system and connect the lock-in clip on the fitting to secure. Take the red tubing which was attached to the drain saddle and insert the loose end of the tubing into the red waste water port on the system and use a lock-in clip to secure the fitting. Make sure all tubes are fully inserted. Now, connect the RO faucet with the system. Insert the power cord which is attached to the RO faucet into the faucet connector and then twist to tighten it. Insert the DC head of the power adapter into the power port at the top of the system. Make sure all the tubes are installed correctly before connecting to the power source. Step 7. Install filters. Remove the RO system cover. Each filter is marked with a label, PPC or RO, and this logo also marked on the system. Install the PPC filter into the upper compartment. Align the button on the filter horizontally to the notch on the system and firmly push the filter into the hole. Install the RO filter in the lower compartment using the same method. Place the cover back onto the RO system. Step 8. Start up the system. First, confirm that everything is installed correctly and securely. Then, turn on the cold water supply valve and feed the water adapter. Turn off your original water faucet Turn on the Smart RO faucet and plug in the power adapter. The lights on the system will flash alternately for 30 seconds and begin the rinse cycle. Keep the RO faucet turned on and let the RO system run for about 30 minutes or until the indicator lights flash at the same time with an alarm sound. This process flushes the tubing and membrane and removes any air that is in the system. After 30 minutes, please turn off the faucet and power source to the system and then turn it on again. The system will reset and can be used normally afterwards. Check that each connection is secure and that there are no leaks, including the system's connection ports the feed water adapter, and the quick connect fittings. If there are no leaks, then congratulations! You have successfully installed the PuroFlow XT600 tankless undersink reverse osmosis system. Enjoy fresh purified water with PuroFlow. After completing the installation, drink a cup of the filtered water and taste the PuroFlow difference. Our undersink water filtration system is proven to efficiently remove chlorine, heavy metals, 
bad tastes and odors, harmful contaminants, and provide fresh tasting drinking water. Enjoy fresh purified water with PuroFlow. Solve leakage. If there are any leakages, please turn off the cold water supply valve. If the feed water adapter is leaking, use an adjustable wrench to tighten it. If it is still leaking, apply Teflon tape on the external threads. If the system is leaking at the filtration system's connecting ports, or if the quick connector fitting is leaking, please remove the lock-in clip and tube and insert them again. Filter Life Indicator Remove the RO system cover and the filter display buttons are on the front of the system panel. The power light will stay white when the power is on. If the filter does not need to be replaced yet, the light will remain white. If the filter is nearing the end of its lifespan, the indicator light will alternately flash red and white as a warning. Once the filter needs to be replaced, the indicator light will remain red and beep 10 times when producing water. Replace filter. Turn off the cold water supply valve. Remove the RO system cover. Press the lever on the RO system and pull out the filter. Replace the filter. To reset the filter life indicator, hold the reset button for three seconds to enter the reset mode. Press the reset button to select which filter you want to reset. Hold the reset button for three seconds and the indicator of the selected filter will reset with an alarm sound. Both filters can be reset in the same way. Turn on the feed water adapter and then turn on the RO faucet. Keep the RO faucet turned on and let the RO system run for about 30 minutes until the indicator lights flash at the same time with an alarm sound. After 30 minutes, please turn off the faucet and power source to the system and then turn it on again. The system will reset and can be used normally afterwards. How to remove the PE tube from the connector and cut the tubing. Remove the blue lock-in clip. Use the Quick Connect Tubing Release Tool, aka Spanner, to push down on the lock-in fittings, then quickly pull the tube out. If the ends of the tube have been scratched, and have indentation damage by the fitting, you need to cut a few inches off the damaged ends to prevent leaks. Hold the cutting edge of the tube cutter perpendicular to the tube and press firmly the tube cutter. Make sure the ends of the tube are straight and clean cut. TDS display on the RO faucet. The outer ring of the smart faucet lights up when the water production is on. When the RO faucet is turned on, the faucet display shows the TDS value of filtered water. When the filter reaches about 90% of its service life, the RO system light alternately flashes red and white. A please replace filter light on the RO faucet display will flash. Once the filter needs to be replaced, the light on the RO system will remain red and the Please Replace Filter light on the RO faucet display will always be on. Enjoy fresh, purified water with PuraFlow.